So with more people getting vaccinated, travel is back. And just a couple of hours ago, we learned that 1.7 million people were screened at U.S. checkpoints yesterday, the busiest day of air travel in the U.S. since the pandemic began. Joining me now, the definitive voice of travel in our region and really around the world, travel writer and show host Rick Steves. Rick, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thanks. All right, so Rick, how are you feeling about the return to travel? It appears that a lot more people are feeling comfortable about jumping on an airplane and going somewhere now. Yeah, you know, I've been in this for now from the beginning with my staff and my dreams and my business. We have 100 people on our staff here in Edmonds, and uh, we've, uh, we're sort of hunkered down. We took 30,000 people to Europe in 2019 on our bus tours. We took uh, nobody in 2020. I'm hoping we'll take a few people in late 2021, but I fully expect to be throttling up in early 2022. Uh, things are looking good, but I do think we have to be patient. And the first thing is not to figure out a way to scam our way over to Europe and back, but to get vaccinated and for Europe to get vaccinated. And when the countries are pretty much with herd immunity, then things will return to normalcy. I believe we're on a glide path to normalcy, but it takes little patience and diligence and embrace the science and realize that we're all in this together. And this ship wants to sail, but it can't sail till we're all on board. What do you foresee in terms of, you know, traveling internationally like you're talking about? Do you, do you think it's going to be a vaccine passport type of a situation? Because obviously we're going to have to wear a mask on board and things are going to be different, uh, certainly in the near term. Yeah, I'm just looking for my passport because um, I've got a passport. You should have had it ready, but, um, <laughs> but um, I can't find my passport anywhere. There's a blooper for you, but um, I got a I got a passport. And it's got a vaccine, a little yellow certificate of vaccination in it. And uh, when I was a kid traveling in Europe, we had a vaccine. You couldn't go to Germany without your yellow international certificate of vaccination. And I expect there'll be some way for us to prove that we've been vaccinated for countries to let us in. It's just common sense. If a country does its due diligence and it's healthy, it wants to stoke its tourist industry, but it doesn't want to let a lot of people in who have yet to be vaccinated. So we have to show that. Uh, but once we do reach that point, I think that... Um, travel will come back to essentially what we were used to in the past. There'll be, uh, you know, in the, in the Pacific Rim, people have long worn masks for, for health reasons. And I think there'll be cases where people will be wearing masks here and there. But, you know, uh, social distancing and Rick Steves travel have almost nothing to do with each other. And uh, I go to Paris not to sit in a bubble and not get somebody's germs, but to have my cheeks kissed. And I go to Rome to pack into those piazzas and lick my gelato and stroll with all the people on the, on the passeggiata. <laughs> And I go to those pubs in Ireland to clink glasses with people who really believe that strangers are just friends who've yet to meet. In 2022, that kind of travel will be back. That's my firm suspicion and hunch. That's why I'm keeping my staff together here at Rick Steves Europe. And that's why we've got, I think we must have 15 or 18,000 people who have their names on tours for 2022. We've got our bus drivers and our guides and our hotels lined up. And in the next month, we expect to be confident enough to start taking deposits again. But we're going to be cautious. We're going to be conservative. We don't want to put people through the emotional ringer of, yeah. of uh, thinking they've got a trip coming up and then having to cancel it again. We have to see how we do on both sides of the Atlantic, in the United States and in Europe, when it comes to getting that vaccination. And then we can travel between these two regions. It really is a sad uh, reality that you know the rich world will be traveling before the poor world. And once it's right. just kind of the privileged nature of things in the United States, in Europe, right now in New Zealand and Australia, for instance, people will travel back and forth. Yeah. And then, um, God willing, we will take a look and help out in the developing world. And we have to remember, we can't really beat this crisis until we're all safe. Uh, if right. we, It can't be win-lose. If we're safe north of the border and it's still raging south of the border, we're not really safe. So we have to follow through and be ethical and, and beat this thing. But I'm convinced that tourism will come back in 2022. 2021, I'm just being patient. Patience is my middle name lately. It's not an American forte, but it's a Rick <laughs> Steves forte for the time being. Pragmatism. And uh, I like your optimism as well. Uh, I, I want to plug your show. Uh, you, you host a show. It is called Monday Night Travel every week. Really more of a Zoom party. Tell us about the show and tonight's episode. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, well, we have my TV show all over the country and public television. My radio show on uh, 500 stations around the country on public radio every week. But what I've uh, innovated for COVID is something we call Monday Night Travel. And it's just a travel party. It's free. It's fun. You just go to Rick Steves and you, you click on to get a, a, a link. And then I have six or 8,000 people coming into my living room virtually every Monday. Today happens to be my birthday, so it's going to be Rick's favorite birthday itinerary. 
We're going to hike around Mount Blanc. We're going to go to my favorite little traffic-free island, an hour and a half from Athens. We're going to go to Dingle Peninsula. We're going to just have a lot of fun hiking through the Cotswold villages, and we're going to go to Prague in Czech Republic for the best beer in Europe. And the finale will be when we go to Naples, which I think is just the most, if you like Italy, go to Naples, because that's Italy in the extreme. So I got two shows tonight, one at 5.30, one at 7, and uh, I'll be drinking beer and, and serving bruschetta. And everybody's welcome. We do it every Monday. It's called Monday Night Travel. And you can just search for Rick Steves and Monday Night Travel, and you can join the party. I love it. Rick Steves, thank you so much.